hey there welcome back to my channel today i want to go over six different ways you can make money using your phone and i have not gone over these before um i remember when i was young and i wanted to make money i was 11 years old when i got my first paper route and ever since then i was always excited about finding ways to make money i've mowed lawns i've shoveled uh, snow out of sidewalks i i you know tons of things i've sold vacuum cleaners and culture you know cut uh, knives <laughs> culture culturally i don't even know how to say it but anyway my point is um being older sometimes i think i look at kids nowadays and i said oh my gosh everybody has a phone in their hand and my first response to that was i'm glad i'm not raising children right now because so i don't have to fight that phone but then I, i've been trying to always look at things positively and i thought wait a minute they have a tool in their hand it's like their paper route they can find a way to make money using their phone um, especially teenagers i'm not talking about young 10 and 11 year olds but you know a teenager you know if they're on their phone all the time teach them how to make money using that phone um, i have one way here a student in college can use this but use the tools that you have <laughs> and make money i don't think anybody should be without a job there's just too many things out there that we can do sure building a business online you know creating this business to retire quit my job that's great but it takes time and not everybody can do that and i understand that but you can find side hustles to do you can find different ways to make money and if you don't like going you know to a nine to five and having to follow somebody else's schedule then start looking at your phone and finding different apps that will help you to earn some money and find the one that's right for you all right let's go over some today hopefully this will help you I'll keep looking keep watching me on this channel and I'm going to keep finding something for you to do okay number one do you like fashion maybe you um, love to buy clothes there's people like that they just love to buy clothes and they're always selling their clothes or just giving them away and buying more well Poshmark is an app that you can go to and I'm going to move the screen down just a little so you can see the name of it right there Poshmark um you can buy clothes from this app or you can sell your clothes now as far as the logistics um you know wear and tear and things like that you'll have to go into the app and find out what the requirements are but if that's something you'd love to do now I'm going to show you how to take this app and turn it into even more you might say well I don't really have a lot of my own clothes to sell so how am I supposed to make money doing that maybe you'd like to yard sale um, there was a time 15 years ago when eBay wasn't really well 19 years ago when eBay wasn't really big yet I remember I moved and I bought a house and it needed some work I I took everything I had every penny I had to, to put the money down on the house and get there I moved from one state to another and I wanted to get some repairs done and I had longer burger baskets because I used to sell them and of course then you end up collecting them and I thought okay I'm not selling them anymore I'm not you know I don't really need you know as many as I had so I went through them and only kept those that I wanted to use and sold the rest and I sold them on eBay um then that got me hooked I thought man this is really an easy way to make money so I started going to yard sales and um Pottery Barn was really might be big now but back then that was really big so if I found clothes from Pottery Barn or any you know granimals or whatever the, the the going thing was at the time I would buy them at yard sales turn around take pictures and put them on eBay so basically you could do that this is a fashion app where you buy and sell clothes so go to yard sales go to Plato's closet that's what we have around us for teenagers and their clothes used clothes but go out and hunt for some clothes get good deals on them and then turn around and sell them you could have a little business going on and it would be fun especially if you love to buy and sell clothes number two declutter same thing maybe to start out with you have a bunch of stuff in your home I'm still decluttering I'm at the point where I'm just giving it away but there was a time when I did yard sales and I love to sell well maybe you have a lot of cool things and you don't really want to have a yard sale you don't really want to do it on eBay do it on your phone and you're out your phone's always with you so this is what I like about this one you can search you could put the barcode in and they will give you a value for the item so if again you like to go out to yard sales find those items you can just real quick find out what the value is of that item see if you're buying it for a good price and I'm sure when you put it into this app they're going to let you know if it's something that's valuable so again you have your phone put it to work if nothing else the phone can pay for itself let it pay for the phone bill I love this one 
I wish this was around when I was in college. I hate it. I, you know, every time you go to a new, um, start a new semester in college, it's five, $600 for books. And then you go back and try to sell them and all of a sudden they're not using them anymore. I remember that happening a couple of times. It aggravated me. I paid $150 for a book and then turned around and couldn't even get five bucks for it. So Book Scouter lets you sell your textbooks. So very quickly you can, you know, find out how much that book is worth and get on Book Scouter. And most likely since you're using an app, there may be another university that's using the book where yours isn't, if that makes sense. And then you can resell it and at least get some money back for it. And again, you could go out and um, maybe at your own school, maybe there's a book that your own school's not buying back, or maybe there's a very low price on it, but you found on Book Scouter that it's something another university is looking for and you're getting a good price. Buy those books from your college, your, your, your friends, your, your uh, peers, and turn around and sell them. So think business, think, you know, making money. All right, the next one you're familiar with, but I, I felt like I needed to put this one here, um, Uber. This one, I lived near Cincinnati. When I pulled the app up, it said, earn at least $700 for the first 100 trips in Cincinnati. In your local area, Uber and Lyft may be um, having a special where they're looking for people and they may have some kind of a special like this. But I, I have adult friends, you know, people in their 40s and 50s that when what they'll do is they have their Uber license and their Lyft license. And if they, as a couple, go somewhere, um, I know the, the woman might be, you know, at a meeting or something, and her husband's out making money, driving around town, um, making money doing Uber or Lyft. I have another friend, she homeschools her, her kids, and when she takes them, um, they go to a co-op, which is about an hour from their house, once a week. When they go, she stays with the kids, participates all day with the co-op and all the other homeschooling families, and her husband's out earning money, um, doing Lyft. So it's kind of cool um, how that works. So think you know, it's something that you can always make money no matter where you go. You could be on vacation. Maybe there's something special you want to do. You can turn around and make some money and go do that um, other activity. This one here is Lyft. Uh, Lyft and Uber, I don't do either. I, I live so far out in the country, it wouldn't be worth it. But I definitely would consider it if I lived closer to, you know, a more populated area. Um, so check them out. These next two, I count as one as well. Um, handyman. If you are handy at doing things, then you definitely want to sign up for one of these two things. Um, one is called handy.com and the other one is called gigwalk.com. And basically you go in here and this, um, the handy.com, they'll, you make $22 an hour as a cleaner. So house cleaning $45 an hour. Um, as a handyman and some professionals can make up to a thousand dollars a week so it really depends on your area how far you're willing to drive and what your skill set is but most of us can clean um, at the very least but for 22 bucks an hour I think I'd be thinking about that one but you have to fill out a little application and everything obviously because you're going into other people's homes this one here is called gig walk same thing um, you go in you let them know what your skill set is when you log in and they'll hook you up and you can do some handy work for other people in your area so again 100 percent, there's a job out there for everyone you just have to take the time to find it and what i love about this time in in history and in our culture you don't have to go to work from nine to five and that's one of the things i've hated ever since i was young i can remember my first job and the reason i hated it, it was because i can't stand being somewhere because i have to be there i have to clock in and then there's not enough work for me to do and that there's nothing worse than that you're sitting there you know you have to stay busy um i can remember working at a kmart and you know we didn't have a lot of customers coming up we were up at the register so we have to start cleaning the windows or something and i kept thinking i was hired to run the register why am i cleaning windows so now you can work when you want to work and you can work the hours there's a lot of people that don't want to get up early in the morning they'd rather work in the afternoons maybe they don't want to work eight hours shifts work a four hour shift so don't let that stop you from making some money and i call these side hustles but i think you could probably make enough money to live off of if you were um pretty uh clever and and use different apps and uh you know had more than one stream of income going on all right give me a thumbs up if this was helpful tell me in the comments what you're looking for and i will try to help find it for you but again there's something out there for everybody don't forget to 
subscribe to my channel. Typically I talk about affiliate marketing and how to build that business using YouTube, but I'm always looking for side hustles and things to help those people who eh, they're not ready for a business, but they'd like to make, you know, some money on the side. So, all right. Thank you for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.